Hello everyone. So far we have studied the design of shaft which is subjected to bending moment and twisting moment. So in this video we'll be studying uh, how to design a shaft which is subjected to axial twisting and bending moment. So far you have you, you are using this equation to uh, solve for the problems which are involving the uh, design of shaft with the bending moment and twisting moment. So if the shaft is subjected to axial force also that is F, M and T are coming together then we will be making use of these equations 3.8a and 3.8b according to maximum normal and shear stress theories and where only extra term coming is the force f and also one factor extra is coming which is alpha and that is column factor we have to evaluate this separately that is the only extra thing which is coming here so we'll be seeing first what is column factor so column factor you can see the equation from the data book from table uh, 3.2 this is actually uh, giving the ratio of intensity of stress resulting from the axial load to the uh, average axial stress. So this is having two expressions which is depending upon the value of L by K where L is the length between the uh, shaft supporting bearings and K is the radius of gyration. So radius of gyration you can evaluate uh, K. So you are having the area moment of inertia I is equal to area into K square where K is the radius of gyration. This is small k and radius of gyration will be equal to then square root of i by a so depending upon this uh, l by k value you can use either of these equations to find the value of alpha and you can substitute directly in that equation to find the diameter so we will be solving a problem for this uh, case so here we have a problem where the propeller shaft which is whose dimensions are given actually here 0 0.6 meter outside diameter and 0 0.3 meter inner diameter and uh, it is used to provide a uh, drive a propeller of marine vessel the shaft is mounted in bearings 5 meter apart that is length of the shaft is 5 meter and it transmits 6 megawatt power at 100 rpm the maximum propeller thrust is 600 kilonewton and shaft weighs 60 kilonewton so here uh, the dimensions are given and we have to find the maximum shear stress so you can make use of this equation that is the maximum shear theory uh, shear stress theory equation and here we will have to find this tau max so here uh, d0 is the outer diameter and in this one capital k is coming so first we will be finding the capital k this capital k is defined as the ratio of inner diameter to outer diameter here it is 0.3 divided by uh, 0.6 so this value will be equal to 0.5 and here next the different loads acting are given the axial force or thrust f to be substituted in the equation that is the f value here you will be requiring to substitute and the value of f is equal to 600 kilonewton so it is 600 into 10 raised to 3 newtons and also the power transmitted is given so power you can write it as it is 2 pi n t divided by 60 power is given in megawatt so power is equal to 6 megawatt means 6 into 10 raised to 3 6 6 into 10 raised to 6 watts and n is in rpm so which is 100 rpm so if you are solving this one you will be getting the value of torque t as uh, torque t will be getting 57300 newton meter you will be getting in si unit so this is the torque transmitter so we have evaluated the force and the thrust uh, the torque t next we have to evaluate the bending moment so bending moment will be created because of the weight of the shaft which is 60 kilonewton so we'll be seeing how to evaluate the bending moment m so here the shaft weight is given which is 60 kilonewton and it will be uniformly distributed all over the length of the shaft so if the intensity of this uh, weight is w and it is distributed over l length so w into l will be giving you the total weight that is capital w so this capital w is given as 60 kilonewton and you can find the bending moment uh, which is or the maximum bending moment which is coming within the shaft by making use of this uh, table in the data book so in page number 16 it is giving you the uh, simply supported uh, loading with the udl and if this w is the total weight 60 kilonewton then the maximum bending moment will be equal to w l by 8 so m that is to be substituted in the equation you can will be getting by finding this maximum bending moment and this will be equal to you are having this w l by 8 so w value is 60 kilonewton or 60 into 10 raised to 3 length is 5 meter for this shaft given divided by 8 and this will be giving you the 
bending moment of 37,500 newton meter so you have evaluated all the loads the force torque bending moment and to be substituted in the uh, question you will have to require the next column factor which is alpha so you'll be evaluating the alpha for this one so the equation for finding the alpha is given in table 3.2 and it is depending upon the value of l by k so here we have to find the value of l by k where l is the length of the shaft sub bearing support bearing so this is equal to 5 meter and we are having already k is equal to square root of i by a or from the data book itself you will get the properties of this different section here we will have we are having a, um, a hollow shaft so it is having outer diameter here the outer diameter is mentioned as d1 and inner diameter is d2 we are taking di for inner and do for outer so in last column this six column acts actually giving you the uh, moment of sorry the radius of gyration so this radius of gyration you can evaluate it as square root of d1 square plus d2 square divided by 4 that means here we can find the radius of gyration as square square root of d inner square plus d outer square all divided by 4 and if you are uh, substituting you can find the value of this is 0.167 meters and you can find the value of l by k that is uh, sorry oh yes l by k value is 5 divided by 0.167 and this you will be getting a value of 29.81 will be this l by k so this L by K coming is lesser than uh, 115. So here you can use this equation for finding the alpha. So if you are uh, substituting in that equation, then you will be getting the column factor alpha as 1.15. So now you are having all the parameters to be uh, substituted in the maximum shear stress theory to find the maximum shear stress induced in the shaft as a result of this all uh, loads. So here we'll evaluate this maximum shear stress for this the equation is given 3.8 and we'll be making use of this 3.8b because it is the maximum shear stress and i have written this equation here in this d outer is given we have to find the tau max so here dimension is given we have to find the maximum shear stress induced and uh, we will be assuming some value for cm and ct which are the correction factors for this uh, bending moment and testing moment let us say cm value is 1.5 and the ct value is 1 and we have already obtained all other values m you are having alpha is uh, we have evaluated f is given k k is the ratio of this is capital k actually it is the ratio of inner diameter to outer diameter so all values you are having so you can substitute and find the tau max so if you are solving this one you will be getting the maximum shear stress as tau max in si unit you will be getting tau max is equal to 14.72 into 10 raised to 6 pascal you will be getting which is equivalent to 14.72 mega pascal so this is the answer for the first part of the question and in second part we have to evaluate the angle of test and for evaluating the angle of angle of test rigidity modulus is given so for finding the angle of test that is theta we will be making use of the basic torsion equation where tau by r equal to t by j equal to g theta by l from this you can uh, find the task tl by gj where j is the polar moment of inertia for this hollow shaft this is pi by 13 in, into d outer raised to 4 minus d inner raised to 4 so this expression you will be getting in radians and you can convert it into degrees by multiplying by 180 by pi then you will be getting this simplified expression 584 tl by g into d outer raised to 4 minus d inner raised to 4 so this will be giving you the angle of test in degrees so torque you are having length that is 5 meter and all dimensions are given and g, g it is mentioned to take a value of 84 giga pascal that is 84 into 10 raised to 9 so all other values you will be substituting in uh, this will be diameters will be substituted in meters torque will be substituted in newton meter and length will be substituted in meter then finally you will be getting the angle of test in degrees and answer here answer here it is point 164 degree so this is the final answer for this question so this is the complete solution for such a problem where shaft is subjected to all these loads that is axial force bending moment and twisting moment so this is very simple to substitute uh, in this equation and to find so hope you understood and uh, thanks for watching